Ever since I've been a kid, I've wanted to be a skater. I discovered skateboarding through watching reruns of Robin Big, Rob Deerdeck's Fantasy Factory, and Viva La Bam on MTV2. Those guys were always skating and seemingly having the time of their lives, and I knew that's what I wanted to do. I started asking my parents for a board around the age of 11 or 12, and they always had a reason to not get me one. As a kid, it was hard to understand their reasoning, which was I might get mixed in with the wrong crowd and I might injure myself. As an adult, I can agree that skateboarding is a dangerous activity, but it's no more dangerous than football or basketball or any other sport that my parents would have supported when I was a kid. The idea that skateboarding mixes you in with the wrong crowd is totally insane to me. Pro skater Manny Santiago, who just skated in the Olympics, had a really interesting story to share about his time there. He said that when all the athletes in the Olympic cafeteria would get together, the only table that had people from every country was the skateboarding table. So if you ask me, the world needs a lot more skaters. I hope you're not getting the idea that I hate my parents or that I think they're terrible people. They definitely helped me a lot, raised me well, and still continue to help me to this day. So we appreciate that. They were great parents, but this just happens to be one subject that I totally disagree with them on. As soon as I got my first apartment, I got my first board also. By this point, I had skated a little bit on friends boards and could barely ollie. I spent the next couple years getting a feel for my board at my local skate park, which is right behind me right now. Also around that time, I got really into playing guitar and started to focus on that for a while. I was in a band and even tried to get into music school, but neither of those worked out and my mental health started to suffer as a result. And then 2020 started doing its thing and the pandemic hit. When the governor told us all to go outside, something clicked and I actually just started skating. For the first time in my life, I was out getting clips every single day that I was completely hyped on. All of this led up to December 27, 2020, when I seriously injured my knee. It's been about 11 months since that day, and here we are. And of course, as a child, I always had an outlet for not being able to skate. Fingerboarding! I have spent countless hours fingerboarding. It's skating, but it's miniature. I also started a fingerboarding Instagram, which led to me getting sponsored by Tech Deck, so that's pretty cool. It's almost like I get to live the life of the skater I always wanted to be. Now you guys know my skate story. I actually took a pretty bad slam as soon as I stopped filming at the skate park just now, so I'm pretty glad to be home. To finish off this story, I'm gonna go ahead and do five fingerboard combos for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it and subscribe to my channel. I upload a new video every single Wednesday, so thanks for watching and thanks for playing.